In this video, we will revise G-code patterns we have covered. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. In this video, we will write a G-code program for the drawing revision 2. Now that we have covered all the G-code patterns available to us, it's important to revise what we have seen so far in the video series before we continue on to more G-codes. We see in the drawing that there are five different round tools used and the sheet size is 48 by 36 inches. Let's say that the material will be 0.048 inch thick steel and we will be programming for a Vipros 357 machine. Let's go straight to Punch Sim and start our program. First, we need to specify our material, clamps, and tooling stations so Punch Sim knows what to show on the screen. G92, X72, Y50, which is the origin point of our machine. G06, a 0.048, B 0, which is the thickness and type of material. M500, to set the default punching mode. Let's start punching with the 0.195 round. X4, Y3, T305. G28, I 1.2, J 0, K 9, which is the first line of holes. X4, Y6, G 36, I 1.2, P 9, J 2, K 3, which is the grid of holes. That is all we have to punch with that tool. Let's move on to the 0.25 round. We see there are two circles of holes to be punched with that tool. G72, X18, Y24, A1, G26, I4, J0, K8, T307, which is the first circle. G72, X7, Y24. B1 to recall the circle in memory. Let's move on to the 0.375 round. G72, X24, Y11.5. G29, I6, J142, T22.5, K7, T309 which is the arc of holes. Our next tool is the 0.5 round. G72, X42.75, Y7.35. G79, I7, J120, P0, Q0.2, D0.048, T204, which is the niggling line. Our last tool is the 2 inch round G72, X26, Y16, G28, I, 3.4, J, 70.1, K, 4, T, 202, which is the line at angle. X18, Y24, we'll punch a hole in the center so we won't have any scrap remaining. A2, G78, I, 2.5, J0, K360, P0, 
minus 2, Q point 0.2, D 0 0.048, which is the punching arc. X7, Y24, D2, to recall the punching arc. The only thing remaining is the arc on the upper right hand corner of the sheet. G72, X45, Y33, G78, I3, J0, K90, P2, Q.2, D0.048, which is the punching arc, G50 to retract our table back to its origin and reset the program. And that is all we have to punch. Let's simulate and see the result. If you want more information on the PunchSim software, click on the link to visit cncsoft.com. PunchSim did not report any G-code errors. Everything looks good. We could have punched this sheet in a more efficient way using different starting points and punching in different directions or rearranging the sequence. Our purpose here is to only revise the G-code patterns we learn. That completes the program for Revision 2. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.